Good day, everybody. This is JPico Death checking in with you for another one of our Divinity Original Sin 2 playthrough. In our last battle, or, or our last day, we spent some time in the Driftwood Arena working on some loose ends. Uh, today, we haven't left town. We have come down to speak with Master Siva about the new source point that we learned. Let's see what she has to say about it. The Meister sits slumped in her chair. You notice that some of it. What news? Can you channel enough source? Are you powerful enough to proceed? Uh, I don't know how much we need. Of course, my sub. You can find more in the cloister woods to the northwest of Driftwood. Blessed muse! Now hurry. Gather the source you need from the fountain and perform the ritual again. Form the ritual again. I guess uh, we'll be right back when I can figure out what I'm doing. Okay, after an exhaustive search of my inventory and looking back through the video that the last time I did this, um, I found out what I needed to uh, complete this ritual. This freaking bowl that I didn't have. Lucky find. Okay, so the bowl. created the ritual bowl, thank goodness. Man. As you suck the smoke into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. As the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul. Oh, well, welcome back to uh, Spirit World. Out of my mini map, is it my god? As you approach, Ralik greets you with a salute, though his face is marred by a pained grimace. My, my, how you positively brim with sauce. No wonder, after all the adventures you have had, all the things you've had to do. He's assuming it, but is clearly unwell. What's oh, wrong? Oh, it's not but a chill. Bit drafty in your soul, that's all. You should. A sudden shudder jolts through his body so violently that he drops to his knees, stunned into silence. Bless him. Yeah. Source washes over him, a wave over a single flame. But unlike last time, it seems to have precious little effect. An ancient curse escapes from his lips, spoken so forcefully that for a brief moment, all light recedes into the webs of darkness. Hmm. 
I refuse to entertain the possibility. Yes, the Void is stronger than ever, but so are you. I can sense the expanse of Source inside you. You are ready to learn the spell I've yearned to teach you. The spell you will need when we reach the Well of Ascension. I have given you eyes that see the Source. Now I will give you the teeth to take it. Rather smart, and you notice for the first time two vampire-like fangs glistening beneath his upper lip. A gulf of magic envelops you, and you feel a sudden insatiable hunger for Source. Go on. I'm here for you. Give in to your hunger. Hmm. Yes. Relish in your lust for power, just like a god should. Yeah, this doesn't feel right. This whole thing feels very awkward. Go on. Devour me. Feast upon me. I command you. Command me? Well. Where is it here? skill there it is so I just gotta find that on my screen now there you are though your spell tore through him like a spear through flesh Rallick looks grimly happy if haggard you speak the spell with Brash ferocity, like I knew you would, my champion. Yeah, oh, why? Do you still not see, even though you are a god woken, destined to be a god. I'm starting to question your motives, dude. Let me tell you the one truth about what it means to be a god it is to be the lion in a world of lambs, it is about power, and power is not given. It is taken with your all-seeing eyes and your all-consuming teeth. You can see the souls of the dead, and now you can feed from them to your hungry heart's content. So feed, for you will starve until you finally feast upon the Well of Ascension. Yeah, I'm not liking what he's saying here. Don't coy now. Your hunger will soon outweigh your all-too-delicate feelings. Your soul must grow bigger still. Your inner self become a vaster expanse so that it may house divinity. There are more masters of the source, more aspects of the source to learn. The hunt continues. Just you hurry! Just us hurry. All right. You seem different. Tell me, what have you learned? Or has the smoke simply addled your mind beyond repair? Uh, we weren't shy the first time. Let's be honest this time. Vampirism? As if killing a creature weren't enough, you should utterly destroy its soul too. A dark skill, but certainly useful. The Meister slumps back in her chair, closing her eyes. Her breathing is shallow and ragged. Very well then. But as you lack the glowing eyes of the Divine, or the purpose of one soon to be Divine, I trust you need more sauce. True. Thankfully, the Magisters have made our lives very simple. They carefully catalogued every sorcerer in this area, keeping careful records in their barracks. The gentlemen we were captured, collared and shipped to, <coughs> to Fort Joy. Powerful masters were deemed too dangerous or insane to confront, which means they may still be open to a teaching position. Do not look at me like that. I said it was simple, not easy. Now get to the Magister's barracks and find that list. You no longer have the luxury of time. Do I not now? And it appears...
appears that JPEG and Ifan leveled up. Thirty-two hundred to get these other two. Okay. There's a couple of quests that I've been kind of kicking around trying to figure out. Um, we were able to come up with a way to get a second potion for these cows that were uh, t transmogrified. Let's see if we can run out and give one to the other uh, to the other cow. See how that goes. Maybe it'll give us uh, enough of a quest to be done. Geraldine gives you a blank look. She blinks her long, luscious eyelashes, then remembers she's supposed to be... Oh, God! Yep. That'll take a minute to kick in. Bye now. If I never see an order again, it'll be too soon. Oh, hi! Nice to see you. Bye then. <laughs> That'll teach you to make assumptions then, won't it? So, where'd the other one go? I like this place. It's nice. See, I still don't know what's up with hide and seek here. I want to find out. I want to know what happened to that kid, but I don't know where it is yet. The elven structure in the woods. Need to go figure that out. The elven camp. Burning chest. Riker. Existential crisis. You can give that the, the, the fisherman back his ring. Oh, the heroes, yes. That's what we need to do next. Oh, um, the ropes, Gwydion. Gwydion died at the, um, died at the gallows, but the Crossleys, it's her nephew. I suppose we should follow up with them. I'm gonna go visit with them real quick. Father weeps uncontrollably. I pray the seven god Gideon to safety. Uh, I am so sorry. No. No. Then there's nothing left here for us. The magisters will come back. Evil always returns if it doesn't get its way. She lowers her head and turns towards the young boy's corpse. It's time for me to go, little one. Well, I guess that closes that uh, quest. Where are they going exactly? Okay. Well, I can't even talk to him anymore. Okay, folks, we've leveled up and moved halfway across the map again. We're over here going to do another uh, loose end. We're going to come talk to uh, Trader, or to Lagan over here, rather, excuse me. Give him back his... fisherman stares at the water, muttering to himself. Give him back his ring. That was terrifying. I need to get myself a new line of work. Something as far away from the water as I can go. Goat herd, high on a mountain. Spice trader in the desert. Anything but this. If the missus will go for it, of course. She likes the beach. Tell him about a ring you found in the water. You found it? How wonderful! The wife will be thrilled. Or 
She would if she ever found out about this, which of course she won't. But I can't thank you enough. Give me he slips the ring onto his finger where it dangles loose. I feel better already. I need to fatten myself up again so I don't lose it a second time. Can't be relying on the kindness of strangers to dig me out. The very best to you. I wish you well. With a new confidence in his stance, he turns back to his fishing. Okay. XP. While well, going through the things that we can do, and I'm curious about whether we can do, uh, I decided, I don't remember if I did this or not, we're going to see if Gwydion's spirit is here. He is. Nope. White Magister. The spirit is silent, but his face is not. A plethora of emotions cross it, as if he relives a lifetime of memories in this single moment. Jonathan shakes his head. It isn't barefaced cruelty that crosses his face, but bittersweet. He looks both impressed and indignant, nostalgic and enraged. Source snakes from your eyes and fingers and into his. And you are Jonathan, clad in red Magister's garb, righteous and ready. A warm hand grips your shoulder, and you turn to see Gareth's face, smiling, hopeful. Brothers in Lucian forever, he intones. You grin back. Brothers in Lucian forever. Attention, Reds. It's Alexander's voice, and you stand at attention. The bishop is to speak of the newly created Seeker Division. Perhaps the two of you will be chosen, should Lucian will it. Your source linked to Jonathan is suddenly severed. His spirit stands before you, head bowed. He offers only two words in reply. I'm sorry. Let him go. Well, I really was hoping to find um, that other kid down here, but that didn't happen. So what I want to do is I want to come down to the beachhead over here. We found out that there are um, there's the turtle. found out that there are shriekers over here and I'm curious to know if our source vampirism we just learned can kill them or not so let's let's save it real quick in case this is foolish and we die separate from the groups so we're not tagging along And I don't know what the range on this thing is. Four meters. Oof. Gotta be stinking close for that. Looks like trouble ahead. The Divine Order kind of trouble. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get close enough to do anything about that. Unless... It's possible to pop in behind him over here. That could be interesting. Two guarding the dock. Neither of them are seeing behind it. Sneaky business. Well, that could work. Down he goes. 
Oh, I like this. Oh, dang it. Alright, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta find that amulet real quick. what I just do? Remove from wares. Identify. Carothurge leadership and strength. Ring of Reavers and Magisters. Ooh, okay. Interesting. All oil barrels. Well, I don't know how long we've actually spent because it's all been so disjointed. Might be we should call this an episode. And, uh, I believe this is the turtle from before. The turtle barely glances at you as she moves slowly across the beach. Good deal. Alright, crew. Uh, I guess this is be this will be our next next objective. We'll go sorting through the uh, the camp here, figure out who is in this building and what there is to talk about and what else there el what else there is to do here. Our new found skill gives us an un uh, before. I'm sorry. What's the right way to say that? gives us a new opportunity that we have not had in the past, so. Uh, apologies if this is a short one. Like I said, I wasn't really paying attention to the time, but uh, I'm sure it's something. Jay Death, signing off. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.